Okay, hi guys. Um, so I'm back with another video. Today's video is all about pet shoes. Okay, so first, do you need them? Yes, for any small pet, you're going to need shoes, like chew toys. Um, and they're ne necessary because all small pets, like rodents and rabbits, um, or like I don't know what ones don't fit under the rodent category, but um. I know rabbits don't, but whatever. So, <laughs> this is going to take forever to film. But anyways, they all need chew toys for a couple of reasons. The most important reason why they need them is because um, they have, like, they're, <laughs> I can't film this, okay. So, they have te ever-growing teeth, so their teeth never stop growing. And so, chew toys just help them wear down their teeth. And sorry for the background noise. I took the lid off of the pellet box, and now the bunnies are freaking out. And they're in that pen behind me. The hut. Yeah, they'll freak it out. Okay, so to calm the bunnies down, I just let them come out for playtime. Yeah, I'll show you. See, the door is open. There's Mocha, you can see him, and you can see Pepper. But yeah, um, by the way, they are in their hutch for now because um, the new dog we got, Happy, which you can see him on my other channel, linked in the description below, and um, he isn't really okay with the bunnies as far as we know. You know, he's the average dog that sees them as prey, so to keep them safe, we're keeping them in my room for now. Um, but they come out for playtime every single day, don't worry, and... They're usually out of their cage for at least two hours every day. And we're working on finding them a way for them to have a bigger cage. Um, well them well they are still being well they are still safe. And I can't set up their pen in my room because my room is tiny. Okay, now let's get on with the juice. <laughs> okay. So like I said, they're really important because all small animals teeth are continuously growing so they never stop growing um and if that you don't give them chew toys there's been many cases where their teeth both the, the top and the bottom just grow super duper long and <laughs> super duper and it makes it so that they can't even eat and um then you'll have to take them to the vet and get their teeth trimmed by a vet and it's not fun um so yeah they're really important and another good reason is because obviously um even if they have a really big cage they're gonna get bored um like just think about it if you had a mansion but it was completely empty wouldn't you get bored um so yeah they need toys to play with and to chew on for both of those reasons okay so now i'm gonna talk about the different types of toys too um so some toys are more expensive than others because there's some that are completely free, like toilet paper rolls and hamsters, especially dwarfs, can um, actually use these as tunnels and chews. But if you have a Syrian, they're obviously not going to be able to use this as a tunnel. So to make sure they can't get stuck in it, I would like um, cut the ends, like slit a couple holes in them, and then like pinch them in because you don't want your hamster getting stuck, like I said. And then you can put, like, treats or something in the inside so that you can promote chewing. Um, <laughs> peppers out now. And then, oh yeah, and you can make things out of toilet paper rolls and cardboard. Like, this is, I can't find a camera. This is one chew I made um, myself. I have a lot of these because I just think they're really cute. And you can put, like, treats inside of them, and then the pets will tear them up. And if you don't want them to fall apart you can glue them together um just make sure you don't have a chewer or you can if you do have a chewer and you want them to stay together you can put a string through it that's safe and yeah and then there's more cardboard toys this is a cardboard flower i have and i use this for my hamsters because i used to have four two flower like ones and two tree like ones and the rabbits got a flower and a tree and they ruined them both because yeah um, so, <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, and then when you go to go, when you go to go, <laughs> buy, um, two toys, 
from a pet store. Sorry, I can't talk for some reason. Um, the most common type of chew they'll have for you is wood chews. So here's a wood one. This is a Not Not Nibbler. Um, you may have seen them in other people's videos before. This is one with a wooden ball in the middle instead of a nut. Some of them have um, nuts in the middle. If they do, just you might want to try to take them out. These ones aren't always as safe. And then here's another wood chew. I got this at Petco um, when it was on sale. And I wish I would have bought a couple of them. But this is probably going to become a toy for the rabbits because I've given it to one of my past hamsters. <clears throat> and I don't like to give wood toys to my present hamsters. If, you know, like I don't like to share around things because I don't want them to catch on diseases, possibly. And um, here's a carrot chew. That's a wood chew. Um, a pencil wood chew. It's just when you go to places like that, there's going to be lots of wood chews, like, I mean, pet stores. Um, and then there will also be some hanging chews you can find. This one has, like, sisal and just wood on it. And I think this one's actually from Walmart, and it's supposed to be a bird toy. And it was, like, two ninety seven, so you can get that if you want. <laughs> and the rabbits enjoy pulling off the wood chews off of here, and... So now I have a bunch of these little wooden wood chews, these little wooden wood chews that I can give to the bunnies or I can give to the hamsters. And so this is really nice. And you can also get these in kebab form where like you can put the toys on yourself. See this one is made to be put on a kebab. See how it has holes through it. And then there's other types of chews as well. This one is um, wood technically, but I don't know, it's like, Bark. It used to have a string attached to it, and then little corn husks, husks, I don't know. But the bunnies love chewing corn husks. I can't even talk. But, um, anyway, yeah, those are pretty much all the chews I'm going to show you. But then there's also this one, which is a greenies. And these are only suitable for hamsters. You don't want to give those to rabbits. Speaking of rabbits... I don't know where my rabbit went, so one second. <clears throat> okay, sorry, it's just making sure I knew where Pepper was. Now both of the bunnies are out hopping around. Um, and yeah, so here are all of the wood shoes I just showed you. That will focus. Um, that's mocha for you. And. Yeah, so there's just a lot of different chews you can buy on the market. I have a lot of more chews than this, but yeah. And there's just, I don't know. Um, there's no reason why you wouldn't give your pet chews. So if, it's not even a money issue if you're like, well, I don't have the money because you can just go and get a toilet paper roll or a paper towel roll and give that to them. So no matter your circumstance, you're going to be able to give them one. And if you have lots of money, you can go to the pet store and buy some. Um, for the most part, they're all pretty cheap. Like, most of them are $4 or less. <laughs> Pepper just went through a tunnel. It was cute. Here, I'll see if I can show you. I don't know. I'll just try to show you in a minute. Okay, so there's the bunnies, just if you want to see them. Um, Mocha might go through the tunnel. But yeah, that's the tunnel that you might hear a lot of noise made of because it's, like, crinkly. Um, but yeah. And then they have, yeah, Pepper showing off his cute little walk-up bridge. And um, if you can see, there is glass under there. And if you're like, what? <laughs> that's just because that's where the hay rack is. And I want to make sure the hay rack... Um, doesn't get hay everywhere. But yeah, the bunnies are being very, very cute. Okay, you guys, so I think that's pretty much it. Um, so in conclusion, chews are just super important to have for your pets because um, they can wear down their teeth and prevent boredom. And you can actually buy chew toys on the market, especially for bunnies. And I've seen them a lot for bunnies, guinea pigs, and hamsters where um, they're made to prevent boredom and they're very interactive, like 
you take a carrot out of a stand and then there's treats below it stuff like that that's really fun for your pets so if you have some extra money um, you can spend it on fun things like that for your pets and it just makes your pets a lot happier so yeah bye guys thanks for watching